Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. We're about two weeks out from Thanksgiving right now, and that means there's lots of people out there talking about being thankful and giving gratitude for what you have. And it seems every now and then, after many years of uh, going through this cycle, uh, that a lot of people seem to conflate being appreciative of what you have, for being content with what you have, and for being happy with what you have. And those are three very different things. Being content with what you have means you're comfortable. It means you're not going out and looking for anything more. You don't particularly want anything less, but you're in your comfort zone. You're in that bubble where everything is familiar. And comfortable isn't always good. We can learn to be comfortable in a lot of different situations, uh, a lot of bad situations. Uh, when you are constantly in a state of stress, it's familiar. And when you finally have a moment to relax, that can lead to panic. That is not comfortable. Being stressed out is your comfort zone. Always going is your comfort zone. So comfort isn't always the best measure of what's good. But a lot of people think that if you're comfortable, you should be thankful for everything you have and thankful for the situation you're in. But that's not always true. Now, being happy is a step above being comfortable. And it's pretty clear just from the word happy that it's a good thing. That means you are feeling some sense of fulfillment. You're feeling like you're doing what you want to do. You're doing something good or you are being the person you want to be. And that brings joy into your life. And happiness is one of those things that can really propel us forward. Unlike comfort, which can sometimes lead to stagnation, which can often lead to stagnation, happiness puts us on a road to go after things, to uh, expand our horizons, to put ourselves in uncomfortable situations in order to better ourselves and achieve more happiness. It's kind of neat. When you're happy, you're not necessarily comfortable. And when you're happy, you are certainly thankful. But when you're thankful, you're not necessarily comfortable or happy. See, being appreciative, being thankful, comes from a realization of two things. The first one being, things could most certainly be worse. And that's a big one, because we live in a world and we judge the world around us on a relative scale. Things could always be worse. It's, you, you don't like your apartment? Well, you could be living on the street. Or you're, you're living on the street, it could be raining. It's raining and you're outside? Well, you could be on fire too. So that's a relative scale. And that's, you know, there's always something to be thankful for, something to be appreciative of, uh, because there's always a step below where you are. Thankfulness uh, happens on that scale. So, and it's not connected to happiness at all in that case. But thankfulness is also realizing what other people contribute to your life. And that's the more positive side of thankfulness. That's what people are really talking about most of the time when they're telling you you should be thankful, especially around Thanksgiving. They mean 
you should be appreciative of the people in your life who contribute to your life in some meaningful way. And you should be aware of how you contribute to other people's lives in some meaningful way. And if you can't come up with a way you contribute to other people's lives in a meaningful way, you should probably ask people about that. Because your perception may not be entirely accurate. And it may being in, be being influenced by your feelings of happiness and your comfort zone. So as we approach Thanksgiving, uh, definitely be thankful, but also be aware of what goes into thankfulness. Be aware of where you are in your comfort zone. Be aware of how happy you are or aren't. And be aware of what others do for you and what you do for others. And then express that gratitude. So over the next couple of weeks, think about that. And uh, down in the comments, let me know if you're comfortable and happy and what you're thankful for. If you like the things that I've been saying here, uh, give me a thumbs up right down there. Uh, if you've got uh, a subscription to this already, that's great. I'm very thankful for that. Um, and if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down there so you get notified when, uh, when I put more of these out. And if you know anyone who uh, may benefit from anything that gets said here or who has an opinion that they want to share down in the comments, share this with them so that they can get in on this conversation and uh, we can all have more of a meaningful impact in each other's lives. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.